In terms of the, the market conditions, we've seen a partial rally in equity markets. There's still some uncertainty about the economic fundamentals and the way that that's going to play out. What's the case for investing in equities at this moment, and, and where do structured products fit in as a way to approach that? Well, there is a strong case for investing into, into equities uh, at the moment, uh, and in spite of this, of this uh, strong market rally that we've seen. I would say that um, the, first, the first thing that, that is to be said is there's a need for institutional investors to be long equity. Right now, the cash remuneration is close to zero. Okay, so it's leaving your money into, into a money market is not something that is extremely attractive. Second, uh, we've seen that obviously uh, corporate debt was something that was very interesting for the high level of CDS uh, that was uh, usually, uh, usually uh, paid out by, by, uh, by those, uh, by those uh, companies. Uh, however, the, uh, the, uh, since I would say March, we've seen a, sh a sharp a decrease in the, uh, in the uh, CDS spreads, so therefore the, uh, the uh, cash bond investment is, is probably less favorable than it used to be in the past. Uh, at the same time, we, don't have to, we, have to, we have to keep in mind that uh, a lot of investors are worried about uh, a move back of inflation. What if inflation uh, comes back into play, which would have a strong negative impact on, on bond investment? Most likely, if, invest, if inflation uh, goes back up, interest rate will actually follow, which will have a significantly negative impact on the mark to market of bond investment. Therefore, what is left? Um, equity offer definitely a, a, st a strong potential. Uh, first, we are on low valuation uh, uh, on, a, on a historical point of view, uh, and therefore it's a, it's a strong opportunity to invest now into equities. Uh, I would say that the world is a bit safer than what it used to be, in, uh, let's say, six months ago, as, as can be measured by, by a, a, a big decrease in the implied volatility of equity market. So therefore, um, all, the, all the stars uh, are aligned in favor of, a, of, a, uh, of an equity investment right now. The second point that is very important is that for institutional investors that, that actually manage their assets in, in a, in a, uh, on a benchmark point of view, meaning that, let's say, uh, a 50% bond allocation and a 50% equity, the fact that overall since the peak of the equity market, the equity market has dramatically decreased, means that if they want to stick to their relevant benchmark, they need to reweight re the, uh, the uh, falling asset class. So therefore, there is naturally a, uh, a flow, an inflow into an equity market right now, just for uh, the, sh the sake of sticking to a to a uh, to a, uh, a target allocation. So now to to answer the second part of your question, which is how can we uh, play uh, and enter into the equity market using a structured product? I would say that our main approach at Sogen has been really uh, to propose to clients to use structured product as a way. Uh, that is di diversifying as compared to straight equity investment. In other words, uh, if a client really believes in a, in a steady market rise of the equity market, I wouldn't say that structural product makes a lot of sense for him because there's nothing like, uh, like a, a, uh, a simple uh, ETF investment uh, to, to be long the, the equity market in that sense. However, a lot of clients have been focusing on alternative scenario. What if, for instance, there is a J-curve evolution of the market, so a further decrease, then a rebound afterwards. What if there is no clear trend in the market, but a lot of volatility along the way? How do you want to play this type of, uh, of scenario? And on those uh, very specific scenarios, basically holding an ETF would be something that would be uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite uh, not very satisfying, in the sense that uh, it, would, it would generate rate of return that would be below the one that you could generate on, the, on a structural product that is tailored for this type of, 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 of scenario. So our approach is really to focus on an alternative scenario as a complement to a, a core allocation uh, at the client side uh, in, uh, in straight equities. And I mean, what are the main themes and equity structure products that are in demand for institutional clients? Is principal protection still a key theme, or are people, is risk appetite starting to return as no, well? No, we've, we've really seen a, a strong uptake into, into a risk taking. I would say in the, last, uh, in the last three months, a lot of investors, uh, institutional investors, switch uh, uh, their assets into uh, directional equities, not necessarily with uh, involving a principal protection. I would say that. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, the structural product providing diversification of risk profile uh, with a strong sensitivity to equities, meaning uh, 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 close to one for one sensitivity on the equity market, have been 
extremely popular in the in the recent market environment. Um, that's that's definitely been uh, been a, a key area. The second area that uh, that we've been uh, focusing on are actually products that that are capital guaranteed on a long term basis and that offer uh, a good alternative to bond investment. In other words, now that we've seen interest rates going down to a, a, a low level. Uh, why not use the equity engine to generate a uh, return on a yearly basis uh, as would normally a, a bond do, essentially. So here the goal is to, uh, to generate a premium as compared to the, to the risk rate or to the, to the corporate rate uh, using uh, the equity uh, performance as the performance engine of the, uh, of the investment. And, and in terms of the geography of demand, are you seeing people investing in um, other markets outside of the main um, you know, U.S. European markets, and are you seeing demand for, for structured products also picking up in some of those newer markets like the emerging market areas? Yes, I mean the the, the trend uh, of uh, of geograph geographical expansion is as has not changed. I would say since the since the crisis, we we've seen uh, a lot more interest into structured products in emerging markets. That's for sure. Um, in terms of, uh, of what underlyings uh, are used, I would say it's really across the board. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, large institutions do focus on the Western equities, so whether you go to Japan, uh, 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 Europe, or the US. Um, however, for instance, there's a lot of interest, both on the retail on and on the institutional side, for uh, an exposure to, to emerging markets. I think the rally that we've seen in the uh, in the last uh, last few months on the emerging markets is definitely something that uh, has been uh, uh, appealing for investors and they all want to be long emerging markets m uh, right now as well. Mm. And are you seeing also the development of um, more sophisticated institutional investors in some of those markets, some of the bigger markets like Brazil or Turkey, where there are funds that th would again look to diversify their exposure from straight cash equity into some structured products as of well. course of course we've we've been involved uh, uh, in various areas of the world uh, you mentioned Brazil Turkey they are, they, are, they are not they are the only one in South America globally we've been very strong at, at, at proposing uh, uh, investments that are that with a guarantee that are built in are diversifying as compared to direct equity investment uh, obviously Asia has been uh, has been a major area of focus as well um, I would say that really uh, across the board, we really see uh, a strong, a strong interest into into uh, structured investment, and uh, the, uh, the the shared belief that uh, it's a great way to diversify from uh, their traditional way of investing, which are equities and bonds. Mm -hmm.